out everything so the next pass when the plant's a little bigger the rolling cultivators can come in Film this, and I thought, well, you know, I'm using these keen scratchers to kind of work. Them. Welcome back, guys. Today, man, it is cloudy, and I feel like I'm just about getting ready to get dumped on any second with rain. But that's okay. We need a little shower, but I'm hoping to get some a few things done before the shower. Yeah, sometimes I was thinking today I wasn't going to film this, and I thought, well, you know. I don't, uh, sometimes I don't film everything I do with the 140 or other stuff, not just the 140, other stuff around the house. And I thought, yeah, I need to at least make a quick video of, of this right here. So what we're doing today, I had to drop back to some little small sweeps because this is some patch that Roger planted. And I'll show you here what he planted in a second. And so it's not fitting the 140. It was planted again with that little Kubota uh, tractor lawnmower thing and some of the rolls have tightened up and those big back feet of mine will cover the roll up next to it. So we switched off to that but what we also did we're putting down fertilizer for Roger and I'm using these keen scratchers to kind of work the the fertilizer in. They, they do pretty good. I mean they really they flatten out a, a roll pretty good uh, and they do good about not covering up and of course you guys know me I kind of like them rolls you know but um, they do good let me show you what he did here he used a coal duplex planter and on one side he had these peas and on the other side of the planter he had corn so this is uh, somebody made a comment of that about they used to do that when they were younger and I thought yeah well Roger Roger just did it but that's what he did it's uh, eight rolls here of peas and corn and there's a couple of places in here it looks like maybe the the pea side run out or the corn side ran out but for the most part it's peas and corn in here so we're going to cultivate a little bit of this let y'all see that um, we'll come back to you in a little bit
Well, guys, what y'all think? Man, I, I feel like it's like, I don't want to call it a hurricane, but it just feels like little squalls keep moving through. It'd get real windy, misty rain, and then the sun almost pop out. And then it gets real windy and misty rain again. <laughs> now, it, it dawned on me on the trotter, and I was thinking when I was cultivating that, I said, you know, I didn't thank all my new subscribers and anybody that's tuning in for the first time. And you sometimes you forget for you know what might be something I filmed yesterday and today be the same day for me. You know, it could be a week for you guys. And so uh, thank you for all the new subscribers and if you're tuning in for the first time. I will say uh, Roger might be missing a set of King Scratchers. I don't know. Don't tell him I said that, but I, I do see the purpose. There's so many, there's so many different ways to cultivate. You know, you guys see me cultivate with those rolling cultivators, and, and that's about all I used. But these have a purpose, and I could see what the purpose would be for me now if I did plant something flat, and let's say the planter left it in a valley, these could come along and, and when, it, when the plant's real young, because it doesn't throw any really dirt beside the plant, it could kind of level out everything so the next pass when the plant's a little bigger the rolling cultivators could come in and and have do a lot better job so they they do have their purpose uh wouldn't mind having me a set i might see if i can find some these are actually rogers but like i said that you know it's a nice set of cultivators um thank everybody again you know it my subscriber counts going up and Again, I, I probably do too much thinking on the tractor, but I was thinking, you know, at any given time, I could have a subscriber having a bad week, a bad day. I guess uh, what I'm getting at is just, you know, hang in there, guys. Uh, seek the Lord and His help. You know, I'll be the first to say when I have problems and I ask the Lord to help me and pray about it and what have you, He don't just okay you're done you're fixed uh, but he does give me the strength to get through it and whatever i went through i'm a little stronger than i was before so the next time it comes up i'm a little stronger so i think that's kind of what he does for us he, he gets us through it but he makes us stronger at the same time sure he could fix it right off uh, he could supernaturally fix it if he wanted to just like jesus would heal people supernaturally couldn't see he could see uh, but, you know, just hang in there. God loves you. God bless you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.